I don't want someone to compliment. Hello and welcome like. back to our show. Now that the cameras are all jacked up because I changed something, so I have to fix them real quick. So <laughs> while I am yeah. fixing them, at least you all can hear us now. Um, why don't we go ahead and start with introductions, starting with the first person I am working on, which would be Elkson. I'm Jamie in the DM, not the DM this time, playing Elkson Udikata, a dragonborn druid lock, and, um, she started off the campaign very naive, naive and sweet. Now she has a succubus in her head, and... An accidental proposal that happened, and people to save. <laughs> and next we have Autistic Gamer Sean. Hello, I am Sean. I am playing Hondir, the cleric who got told apparently his god's not real by his friends, who he's trying to slowly build trust with, and apparently is kind of rusty when it comes to actually hitting things, but not rusty when it comes to healing. Yeah, it's all good. You, you'll figure out that your faith was never misplaced, I'm sure. Oh, mm. and thank you for the following uh, Anime Insanity. I appreciate that. Uh, next, we have Miyagi. Hi, I'm Josh. I play Miyagi Wormson, the Draconic Lineage Sorcerer Divination Wizard Pact of the Celestial Warlock. The most OP member of the party, and I can say that now. Um, yeah, he's he's all nice and interesting and charismatic. Really? Because your your party members never <laughs> let you so talk. Shut the fuck up. Last time you talked, you got us into a lot of trouble, young man. <laughs> and uh, last, I that out there, and y'all bit for it. Y'all went for it. And last but not least, we have. Jane Demand. Hey, I am Jane Demand, Shatterer of Chains, Bender of Reality, the most awesome person here. I DM Tuesdays and Thursdays. Not really, but I hate being left out. Um, I play Ares, um, the strongman of the circus, when I'm not playing Sazen, uh, who would easily flip, wipe the floor with Miyagi. <laughs> and hi, I'm Nightfall. I'm the DM, which means I am the most powerful motherfucker in this party. <laughs> and we are doing a homebrew adventure uh, written by me in a homebrew world written by me and the players here. Uh, I have taken there. Wow. How many times did you click Elven Chain? How many times did it go through? <laughs> a lot. Uh, we are using... We are using Foundry VTT for our virtual tabletop, um, where I do have some spell effects with JB2A, um, James RPG art, a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and in this homebrew world, one thing that stood out was that the complete lack of dragons. Nobody alive had saw a dragon. Until our party royally fucked up and uh, has brought the dragons back. <laughs> hey, I, I'm a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, tasked with saving another follower of Elkson's patron, the group went into the small village of Waterford that is surrounded by the Dread Marches. Marshes. Upon meeting with the magistrate there, they decided to say fuck diplomacy and just punch the level the retired level 20 fighter in the face. <laughs> After he took some of their blows and these uh, and shrug him off and then just lit his flame tongue on fire and went to town, um, they decided, hey, we might want to talk to this guy now. <laughs> and diplomacy worked again. They were tasked with trying to figure out what was despoiling this town's water supply as everybody around was like sickly green, sick. Um, and while they were going through and they decided to stop by a local monster hunter's uh, hut in the swamp there, they got into a fight with some massive trolls which almost actually destroyed the party. It was pretty touch-and-go there. 
Uh, the trolls actually got him in a decent ambush spot and separated them. Upon meeting with this monster hunter, the party noticed that his uh, right arm was gone. And he informed them that the beast that is actually causing the water to be despoiled is nothing else other than a massive black dragon. When he told the tale to these other folks in town, he was laughed out. He gave the party some respite in his hut so that they could get a nice long rest there and gave them two important pieces of information. Number one, this black dragon just got a text. And no, it was an email. <laughs> Let's, let's turn that down now. This black dragon, unlike others that he heard from stories, was not immune to acid, but actually vulnerable to acid. Because in making his weath weapon more powerful, he apparently lost his natural immunity to acid. And secondly, that there is this root that if ground and ingested by the dragon would weaken it. He told them that it could be found deeper into the swamp, but warned that it was in troll infested areas and there'd be trolls much more stronger than what they've already faced. So all of you sweating from this humidity in the swamp, a little bit dirty, there is no present dissertation now. Waiting for Miyagi to say something on that. <laughs> you all lay down to rest. Are you making watches or are you all just sleeping? Well, I mean, now that you say it, I feel like we have to make a watch. <laughs> I'll take first watch. It's fine. Okay. I'll take second. Second watch, okay. Third. Third watch. I get the last one, I guess. Okay, who does not have dark vision? Me. Okay. I'm not sure if I have it. Hold on. Good. You all get your long rest. <laughs> <laughs> so, so during my watch, I will press to digitate everybody's clothes and make it cleaner. <laughs> during your watch, actually. Fuck. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> you look over to the side and you can see a worm on your shoulder. Sorry about that, and I put it away. You're asleep. You're asleep. <laughs> The joke went over your head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. And then you see another worm on your other shoulder. Just get it, Josh. <laughs> and you feel as if someone is holding your shoulders from behind you. Someone taller. And you look to your sides and you see nothing but masses of worms. Hello, my child. You will call upon me once again. Miyagi's gonna start screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so interrupting your all's long rest. <laughs> you actually go to scream and your voice is there's it's silence. It's nothing. I only want my bloodline to be strong. Remember, history is written by those who succeed. Those who conquered, they changed the narrative. Be well, my son. And they're gone. And now you may scream if you'd like. 
noticing that I can't scream, I'm probably not going to. Okay. And your watch has ended. The sun is rising. Well, what do y'all decide? As you see this monster hunter coming in. Oh. Would you happen to know any way to kind of go around the territory? Well, considering they make big wicker statues with the root, not really. Like I said before, I think that you all just need to cut your losses and get the fuck and out of Dodge. Like I said before, your concern is appreciated but unwanted. Fair enough. Y'all want to go die. Best of luck to you. Much appreciated, one armed friend. <laughs> Alex and we'll just go outside and stretch and wait for the others. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I feel so fresh and rested with full night's sleep and no strange voices in head. <laughs> I go outside and stretch. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to open my holy book and do like a little bit of a prayer to Morndeen. Before I go. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Aries. Good morning, friend Elson. How do you sleep? Hey, as I can, okay as I can, considering we're kind of going to fight a dragon, you know? Considerably understandable. Couldn't help but notice that friend Miyagi sleep kind of weird. I expect him to sleep in circle like Kitty. But he kind of sleeps like pig. Wait, what? How he do sleep. you mean? He sleeps on back and he goes, No worm, no worm! It's, it's very weird, very weird. <laughs> oh, I guess I didn't notice. I. You should, you should watch him sleep sometime. Big spectacle. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds, you know, out of context. People, <laughs> that... <laughs> Axon will just go quiet. <laughs> Good morning, oh dear. <laughs> Are you looking at me while you say that? Because I haven't left yet. I mean, you said you were doing the prayer on your way out. <laughs> oh. Good morning. After... Are you guys ready for this? After Hondir leaves, Miyagi will clutch his symbol of Bahamut, just let out a small prayer, and ask for guidance <laughs> and protection and triumph through the following through today's challenges, and then head out all boisterous. Slam open the door. Are we all ready? Sh shall we go? So which way are we going? Well, the monster hunter said he can show us the way to where the root is found. So we're going to retrieve root. Well, we can see where it is, and then... Hmm. We probably should have went to get supplies from town, to be honest, but... I don't know. I think it's too late to turn back now. How much it would even have in the first place. Town did not seem like place that has plenty of supplies. We could we could have asked him about the town too, but well, you can go back in if you like. Go back to, in where the town? To the hut and ask him if town have you know acid vat or acid <laughs> factory or. I don't um, think those are the supplies that he meant. Acid Yankee Candle. I mean. What? It's to be something. Besides acid-based stuff, you know, like potions, healing kits, that kind of thing. 
I think if they have healing kit and potion, they wouldn't be green. That, well, that's he okay. Healing kits technically don't affect disease, diseases, Aries. I like you, Minotaur friend. You're very optimistic. <laughs> I just know a good amount of medicine. You okay there, Miyagi? <laughs> yes. No. I. I'm doing okay. Well, clearly you something's bothering you. You're not trying to take charge and say what's going to happen. Uh, I'm fine. So, uh, shall we go find this root? <laughs> um, herb, root, thing. Yes. We will go. find what they call a tuber. <laughs> a tuber. Okay. Isn't that a potato? It's... That's... So, we need to get it, grind it up, and somehow get the dragon to ingest it. No, Jade. The dragon's nope. going to ingest potatoes? I thought he was allergic to acid. Well, the root that he mentioned, the tuber, also can affect the dragon. <laughs> acid Makes it weaker. Acid and potatoes. This dragon's so weird. <laughs> so, I take it you guys are traveling while you're having this conversation. What, yeah. What is the marching order? Ares will take the lead. Oxen's gonna be by Miyagi. I'm definitely in the middle. I'm definitely in the middle. <laughs> I'm not first, I'm third. <laughs> right, so, I'm in the back. Alrighty. And what's this everybody's what passive? Last time. What's everybody's passive perceptions? Remind me, please. Twelve. Fifteen. Fifteen. Am I the one with a passive perception? <laughs> no, Aries has a fifteen. It is not me. You guys are oh, yeah. traveling, and it's hard travel because it's definitely half movement. As you start to see some movement in the water just ahead to the right. There is movement to the water to the right. Mm -hmm. You three stay here, Aries will investigate. Wait, let's not have one of us get surrounded, all right? <laughs> An arrow flies out from behind you, just over your shoulder, Ares, and strikes a large snake, hitting it and pinning it to the tree. That was certainly impressive. Turn to look and see if we can see who shot the snake. Mm, well, perception check. I will roll perception check as well. That is a 23. That is a whopping 6. 23 does not see it. I got a 25. <laughs> Let me... I want to roll in on this. Oh, by the way, make your rolls for your... I already did. And what are they? Four. They are a 7 and a 19. Okay. Rolls for what? It's important. Because I'm important. <laughs> okay. Come on. Roll. Oh, dang it. 13. Yep, 13. Mm. That is impressive trick with arrow. Walking food is going to the wrong way. Which way should we be going? Who even said that? You see, high up in the tree, someone, a humanoid form, sort of slides to the side. You see scales 
green in color, a long tail, one hand having holding a bow. I think it is a lizard person. You you go towards troll land. You will not survive that. Well, we're just trying to find a root that we need from over there. Potato root. Why do you look for this root food thing? It's an ingredient. What purpose? Why are you asking so many questions? You are in my home. I ask questions of food thing. You, why are you calling us food thing? As you see, he just licks his lips. <laughs> how, how tall does this thing look? This thing looks shorter than you. I mean, he is still up in a tree. About a good 15 mm -hmm. feet up. Answer question. We are looking to cure the blight of this area. Humans? Something <laughs> much bigger. That's a good one, though. <laughs> Humans are so stupid. Oh, I get it! I just stare at everyone, jokingly. Stop with not giving a full answer. So, you really want to know? That's I the real that question. that was a full answer. Answer now! Look, we got told to investigate what's been causing the water to mess up. It's some sort of black dragon. That's what we're trying to get rid of. We've been told that the black dragon is weakened by this root. Describe a root. The monster hunter called it a tuber. Do, do I have to roll something to be able to describe it accurately? Because player doesn't remember. A white root with red spots. Okay. I can. Zaxon knows of this two bear. I assume your name is Saxon. Yes, cow thing. I, <laughs> I am I'm Elson. That's you look like cow. here. That's Meowgi. And that one's Aries. Why do you walk with food stuff? He looks towards El Elkson. Just walk with my friends. And I protect my friends, too. And I will stare him dead on. Saxon has friends, too. As you hear okay. a growl off to your side, and you see a rather a medium size, but a large drake with black scales. You hunt... You hunt the burning liquid beast. If that's I'm what it's called around here. No. He sided with trolls. Destroyed my clan. Hmm. I'm sorry. Zaxon will help you find two birds. Yeah, he's having difficulty saying that word. Okay. And I guess you want something in exchange for your help. This dragon dead. That, hmm. that is a fair request. You go dangerous. Easier way. This way. As he hops down and just starts walking in the opposite direction. Um, not towards the uh, hut, but in a like a south or southeastern direction. I'll start following. 
Can I roll an insight as I follow? Sure. Wait a minute. In this scenario, is Eddie's considered food? Because that's highly rude. No. Yes. You I would, not what he was talking about. <laughs> you would be a good price. Feed the clan for many days. 17. He's being utterly truthful that Ares would be a prize and feed the... <laughs> That's not what I rolled it for, I you know, know it. Um, it's very difficult to get a hand on him, especially since it's lizard folk, as you know, they don't think the same way as other humanoids. Um, he seems to be very forthright, though. So does the drake just waddle along Yep. beside him? Yep, just follows him. You see he has a very finely crafted bow. Um, he has a backpack, a quiver. Um, he has a couple potion bottles on his um, side, ready to drink if needed. He is wearing muted browns and greens. Um, Let's see, what else does he have? Uh, he carries uh, two short swords. I'm going to, like, step back with Miyagi and kind of whisper to him um, to keep a uh, closer eye on Sylvie. I think he was referring to them when they saying food thing. Oh, personally, I think he was referring to us, and <laughs> I will just make Didn't sure. one of the uh, villagers say something about them <laughs> eating? Well, everything needs to eat. I mean specifically eating them. Either which way, we will... Keep everyone safe. And try not to piss anyone off. So that last part we seem to have a problem with. <laughs> Let's just try not to punch random people. What well, that one was not me. <laughs> I'm gonna have an aside with Handir. <laughs> Handir, it's not true, you know. Goliath make terrible meal. We're very gainy. Mm. Goliath very tasty, and you all are loud. I rolled a 19 on my perception, <laughs> so... <laughs> That's fine. My surprise was I was gonna have a friend of mine play this character as an NPC for you. Now I am. Ah, okay. <laughs> But he call you cow person, and that's very funny. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard that. Probably won't be the last. Cow person, tastier. Stone person. Brain soup is hard. Not hardly a serving. Ares is oddly proud of that. <laughs> For Morden's sake, this better not be too bad. You in a swamp. Yeah. <laughs> that's all he says. I thought someone was <laughs> saying something, okay. and then they cut out. <laughs> With Zaxxon, he actually does help you um, tra traverse this land a lot quicker. You are no longer t taking the penalty to movement rate. Ah. You come across... Elkson. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Elkson, how come a lizard person so much better at this than you, you dragonborn? I am from the mountains, not a swamp. Oh. Did not know there was a distinction amongst dragons. Good to know. Yes. I can help us get through a mountain path, no problem. But the swamps are not my thing. You know, I also from mountain. Really? Yes, big mountain. Don't remember the name though. But brought here as a small child, but 
mountain runs through blood. So, I mean, it kind of fits the two tallest people being associated with mountains, right? <laughs> mighty, mighty mountain. And then the walking cow. And the scaredy cat. That's... That's a little rude, Aries. I don't believe I'm scared. Hush! You all will be prey if you are not quiet. Okay, sorry. Temple ahead. Temple. Hmm. As he says that we need to be quiet or I will go ahead and cast pass without a trace. Nice. You see, you all are standing on about a 10 foot, um, in, or not even incline, a, a mini cliff. It's only ten, a 10 foot drop. And out before you is uh, a lot of wet swampland, um, green tinted to the, to the water. Some parches of land, but what is interesting is you see what looks like the very top of a large temple, but sunken. Here, but to be careful, dead things move. Oh, joy. Oh, good thing I'm a cleric. <gasps> So what is the marching order here? So, question. If I were to cast Water Walk, even though Water Walk is not a concentration, would that break my concentration on Pass Without a Trace? No. It's only on a concentration spell. Okay. Then I'm doing that. Okay. Uh, marching order. Ares as always goes first. In fact, let's oh, just no, go ahead and cool. activate. Yeah. Let's go ahead and activate the scene. And let's go to our foundry. And. Hold on, I'm just trying to move things around here. There we go. And now we're going to have to fix our cameras again because, well. Ooh, I'm surprised that popped. <laughs> Ow, yowie, wowie. So, what is. You have Aries in front. And then what? Describe how you're approaching this place. I mean, Alexon is going to stick as close to Miyagi as possible during this. So the same marching order as last time, or basically, I, I okay. think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I will. Healer in the back, puncher in the front, and the problem children in the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> character. Come on, Fire children, hands. let's go. <laughs> no hanky pinky in temple. What? No, that's Out of not... character again. Who would be the mom and who would be the dad? <laughs> or would we both be dads? Alright. USA TV show, my two dads. <laughs> Alrighty, as you guys are approaching. Aries, give me a perception check. You got it. That is a 17. 17. You see some movement just out the corner of your eye behind you. Lizard person, we have movement behind us. Again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn the look. And you turn smack dab into the face of this creature. Its skin taunt and gray, tattered robes ending in just 
almost disintegrating um its eye sockets sunken with black gem like surfaces no nose and in place of the mouth a deep just cavernous void you are as you are certainly terrifying I need you to do a constitution saving throw. Okay. Divine Twitchvention just kicked in. Divine Twitchvention. Oh, you can't yeah. do the Divine Twitchvention as a player. I did that. No, I did that before we got. I just saw it in the chat. Person. Yeah. And we have another one uh, stockpiled as well. Okay. Okay. I got to <laughs> do it. Look, I'm right here. It, it, that, the second one just popped up in the chat. From C to the end. Thank you. Constitution saving? Yep. 14. Rolled four a 10 and somehow have plus 4. 14. You... Let's see. You are not reduced to zero hit points. Um, You do take... Let's see how much. Well, that's fucking terrifying. 16 psychic damage. My headache! <laughs> and how about we roll initiative? Yay. This is going to be that's quite fun. a 19. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. My phone fell. Hang on. I have a lot of rolls to do, so. It is very hard to keep group alive when group insists on drawing attention. Well, we have My me. total. I'm so attractive. Hi, right, Miyagi. Well, is yours? Oh, I think I got a 10. 10? All right. Alex, and yours? 19. 19. Aries? 15. Hey, yeah, that's what I rolled for you. And Hondir? 10. Alrighty. Elkson, you're starting off the combat. Oh, joy. Um. Ah, ba da ba da ba da. Um. Well, Pass Without a Trace was a waste. Uh. Hex, bonus action hex on this thing. And then. You know what? It's in my face, so let, let, let me breath weapon it. Alrighty. What save is that? That is the dexterity save. DC 16. They rolled a 16. Damn it. So it takes half. So 12, half, 6, plus the X. And meh. Another two. So eight. Alrighty. Does that complete your turn? Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do to try and move between him and anyone else in the party because I'm already here. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, Ares, you notice this because they're closer to you. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's grave sites all in front of this fallen temple. The surface of the swamp lurches as humanoid forms start to surge out of the muck all around you. Undead corpses, swollen and squelching, groan and gurgle as they reanimate. Bog water drains from the holes in their decaying flesh and they raise their arms, but instead of going slow, they have jerky motions 
and you see pulsating sores on all of them as they start to rush forward. So are they around me? Like I'm not surrounded? Uh, I'm going to show you on the map. You're not surrounded. Yet. Yet. So let's unhide these folks. What the fuck? Oh, those seem lovely. There's so many. All right, so let's go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Can I roll an inside check? Not to ask them, see if he's a necromancer. Yeah, I want to see if I can get the sense that these people are being risen by the guy that attacked Elkson. Um, I mean, you can roll an arcana. I will roll an arcana. Okay. Uh, this creature uses its dash mo movement to get up to you. Uh, it is unable to... Um, do any attack okay that was a five for arcana okay which tracks because i am a mountain person um, um this is not natural these beings are not natural that's what you get <laughs> i don't know what foul sorcery brought you back from dead but you're going to ever you're going to get ever rising from your grave and i'm gonna rage my it's not your turn yet. <laughs> How's it not my turn? That's racism. Because <laughs> you go on 15. I'm on 18 right now. Okay. I still say it. All right. That guy had to use his all of his move, movement as well. His action as his movement. So that's done. It is now Zaxxon's turn. Oh, wow. Zaxxon will target the first, uh, this creature that looks like he's, like, perpetually screaming. Um, and that's going to be a 24 to hit. And it's going to be 6 plus 13. We'll take another his second shot. That's a sixteen. That will just hit. See Zach's and take out two arrows and just whoosh, whoosh. And Elkson, you can, have been an archer before. You used to have the skills. You can see his shot placement is pretty on point. That completes his turn. Ares, it is your turn. You have two of now them. Now your up. turn. Happy? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disengage from the um, from the two zombies so they can get their attacks of opportunity. Okay, so you're not going to disengage your... Are you... Yeah, I don't have an actual disengage action because I'm not a rogue, but I am... Well, no, you can do it as an action. Oh, no, I'm not wasting my action on that. Okay. That's stupid. <laughs> Let them attack. Okay, so where are you going? Uh, to the necromancer-looking creature that attacked Elkson. Okay, well, let's first do... That's a seven. That misses. That's a 23. Oh, that'll hit. And I think... Let me double-check here. That's a paddling. All right. That is seven slashing. Okay. And you are raging first, correct? No, I'm going to take the full damage. All right. And then I'm going to move my 40 feet of movement so that I could flank with Elkson. Uh, you can't really flank with Elkson. Because of the the rock is taking half of it, but you can flank with Miyagi. That works. And you'll still get your flanking bonus. So okay, got it. So I'll do that, and then I'm gonna hammer him with my non-raging fists. Trying to save your rage or something? 
I have a bo I have um resistance against psychic damage if I'm oh. not raging. Ah, nice. <laughs> so let's go ahead and fight. That sounds handy. The the first hit's gonna be twenty one. Um twenty one definitely hits. Alright, and that'll be four nine bludgeoning. Alright, takes nine bludgeoning. Oh, by the way, Elkson, you take five necrotic damage from ending your turn next to him. Duh, fuck. Alright, second hit is going to be a dirty 20. That'll hit. For 10 points bludgeoning. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to do another melee hit. Uh, 28 to hit. That hits. Don't bother. It had one hit point left. <laughs> you see this you creature just stumble down to the ground. <laughs> you don't touch her. Does that complete your turn? <laughs> Thank you, Aries. Um, yes, that'll complete my turn. <laughs> and we don't see 21 zombies fall? <laughs> nope. You see the other zombies are now moving in. Unfortunately, they're going to have to use most of their movement to get close. Sorry, Miyagi, I did you a disjustice there. That's alright, that's alright, that's alright, that's alright. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Alright, there. So I just have to move these guys up. How does this always end up happening? <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think it's because of Kitty Cat. He just attracts Meow me. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run out of here. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay, well, that's fun. <laughs> I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Okay. Um... You see, these creatures are moving much faster than other zombies you've seen. So, and Hondir, you're on deck. All right. So, I'm going to do a fourth level magic missile and target. Let me go ahead and place my target. These two spells, magic missile. Where's my magic missile? Fourth level, fuck it, let's do it. So those two are going to take. That's fucking terrible. They are taking six points of damage each. Alrighty. And then... I'm going to move... Actually, I'm going to stay there. Still you sure? Spread. No, I actually am going to move. Fuck it. What's the worst that's going to happen? Alright. We Ten. die. Three, atta three attacks of opportunity. Oh, three? Oh, shit. <laughs> You're moving, right? Yep, I'm moving. Fuck it. Alright. First one hits 18. Shield. I see 21. Miss. Natural 20. That, that works. For a total of 6. 
<laughs> For a total of six. They don't hit very hard. Since the uh, one that I had, the tree. okay. Since the one that I had hexed died, do I get to move my hex or do I have to recast it? You can uh, move your hex as a bonus action. Okay. On your turn, Hondir, you're up. So there is one of these guys that are ten feet from Elkson, right? Yep. Is Hold on for a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, there's a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> Elkson's almost surrounded. Uh, Meowhi just left her flank open. She's uh, about to get swarmed. So, looking at my ring, I conjure my ice knife and throw it at that zombie that's 10 feet away from Elkson. Alrighty. That'd be this one right here. Um, yeah. For Ice Knife, I have to roll. Do, 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 do. We never got it in, so it is a d20 plus my spell casting modifier. Yep. Since I'm not proficient with the spell. Well, it, it shouldn't matter. It's, it's a ranged spell attack, so same thing as if you would do Guiding Bolt. You'd have to roll. You use the same thing. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure, like, on the rules, since Ice Knife's not in the Cleric. Um, they have already of... casted it for you, oh. so you're... Yeah. Okay. That is a total of seven. Total of seven to hit? Yes. That misses. Now, I need that target and any target within a five-foot radius to make a saving throw of Dexterity, please. All right. Even if it misses? Even if it misses. All right. That is how Ice Knife works. If Ice Knife would have hit, he would have taken a D10 plus All right, the that's 2D6. 11 on the first save. That is a miss. And natural 20 on the second. Hit? Well, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a pass. And one more uh, would fail. So the two, so two directly left of Elkson fails. Mm -hmm. Okay. They take six cold damage from Ice Knife. Okay. The target that's saved does not take any damage. All right. Does that complete your turn? And as a bonus action, second level spell slot. You see the space like in between all of them? Yep. Spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon at second level. Alrighty. Um, do you want me to roll a D? Do you want to roll a D four to pick a target? Because it says it can only hit one target. It's up to you. You you determine the target. The one closest to Elkson. Okay, that'd be the most injured one. Yep. So that is going to be a plus six to hit. 17 hit. 17 definitely hits. And then it's going to take. These guys are pretty easy to hit. Well, there's also another thing I'm going to add to this. So one second here while I read it, because I've never used this because I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. Uh, well, plus I can see what you think about this one. A divine strike on each of your turns you attack a creature with a weapon attack. That's, you can use this the is a spell, not a weapon attack. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that. Yep. And then do I add anything to this? I think I do. Total of eight damage. Alrighty. And that completes my turn. Okay, now let's move this guy up. I'll be honest, I thought that was a clever idea. If only I hit with that ice knife. Fuck. 
Alright. They have all had to use their actions to move up closer to you guys. Elkson, it is your turn. Okay. Um, Let's zoom in for you so you can see. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. Uh, doing these two, I will go... I'm going to wild shape into a saber tooth tiger. Alrighty. Where's my wild shapes? Wild shapes. I need more health, and these have more health than a dire wolf. Alrighty. And then, um, in in tiger form, I you know what I got I got some in a line. I may as well do a uh, breath weapon. Yep. Um, so I'll go for the line where I can hit three of them. All right, that'll be this line. Dexterity saving throws, correct? Yep. Alright, let's see. First one. 15. Fail. 16. Pass. 6. Fail. Alright, that's so. Okay, uh. 16 damage. Halved on the one who passed. And I don't have hex now, so. Alrighty. Does that complete your turn? And I will just stand my ground and growl. Wow. I've been complimenting you guys this whole time and I've been on mute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joey. I'm like, what? you guys are doing amazing. You guys are doing damage and awesome, and the whole time I'm a mute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now the these zombies are going to go for what is obviously the biggest target here, which is going to be the saber tooth tiger. <laughs> so, That's first claw good. attack is a nine. Miss. Second one is a nine. Miss. That guy just wasted his turn. <laughs> Hers are easy to hit, too. Next one runs up to Miyagi with a 10. And then another 10. This is. I rolled a five, a f two fours in a row, then two fives in a row. Wow. Zaxxon will take a shot at the one that is attacking Miyagi and misses with a one, but then hits with a 19. Aries, it is your turn. They just ignored you. <laughs> and Aries will not have it. He rages. And then he's going to just attack the one in front of him. He's just going to start bulldozing through. <laughs> Aries is just like, you ignore big strong man of carnival. Uh, that is going to be a 29. That hits. Okay. Their AC is 10. Nice. Uh, that's going to be nine points of damage. I mean, to be fair, I rolled a seven, so they yep. can't, you can't miss them. <laughs> Second hit is going to hit. My, what did you say there to hit is? Ten. ten. My modifier is ten, so I should just assume I'm going to hit. Unless you, <laughs> uh, unless you get a one. Unless I get a one, okay. 
See, here's my plan. I have to beef your all's ego up until I smash it down with the dragon. <laughs> 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And that's going to end my turn. Alrighty. Actually, it, um, where is Meowgi on the battlefield? Meowgi oh, is way, way south. You have a big kitty in the way. Um, okay, Meowgi, you're on your own. I'm good. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Meowgi, while it lasted. 13 on the Saber 2 Tiger and 11 on the Saber 2 Tiger. The first one hits, second one misses. Seven slashing damage. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right. The zombie is not running away because it doesn't do that. It goes after Miyagi. Foundry just doesn't like you today, it seems. Nope, that is not. That is Miyagi attacking Miyagi. I can't do that. <laughs> Miyagi punches himself in the face out of fear. That is a 13 on Miyagi. Misses. And a 24. Hits. Four slashing damage. Okay. Music is fire. On the big kitty again. Everyone wants to pet the kitty. Ten. I got them by my experience. Eighteen. <laughs> the first one missed, second one hit. Five slashing. Okay. Next one on the kitty. That's a natural 20. And that's a 24. Hit and hit. And I'm just for the hell of it, I'm going to do the... the oh, I'm, yes, thank you. God, my brain. <laughs> so that's a total of... Um, 17 damage off both hits. The math. Okay. <laughs> um, so Hellish Rebuke is uh, Save. Dexterity Saving Throw. Yes. Alright, with their plus zero, they got a one! Hey, they take 40 10 fire damage. You know what? I'll let D&D Beyond roll it for me. 25! Hell yeah! 25. The zombie explodes and is destroyed. I need you to make a constitution saving throw as some of the liquid gets on you. It wasn't evaporated by the fire. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's not great. That's 5 plus 4 is 9. That's a fail. You take 15 poison damage. Ow! I'm still a tiger. But you did destroy one. <laughs> Meowgi, it is your turn. Okay, so... I've got this two on me. Yep. But they couldn't yeah. get in a flanking position yet. Yet. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let me move my token. Uh, they're both. One's injured, one's badly injured. Okay, fuck it. I'm going to run over here. I'll take. No, actually, I'm going to disengage as my action. Okay. And then I'm going to quicken spell Frost Fingers. Alrighty, what's the save? I don't want to target me. Don't target me. It is going to be... So the game's a... just trying to tell you to hit yourself. 
Yeah, clearly. It's a con save of 15. It's 11 on the one in the back. 22 on the closer one. Alright, second level frost fingers. Not bad, 17 damage. So the one that saves takes... What, Eight. Nine? Eight? Yeah. Eight. You round down. The one in the back burst and poison gob globules just start flying around, but nobody's close enough to get hit. Okay. Does that complete your turn? Yeah, I use my action to disengage. Oh um, dear. Yep. So, if my spiritual weapon as a bonus action, I can move it and it can attack the creature. Mm -hmm. That's not considered flanking because it's an object, correct? Correct. If I move it towards it. Okay, so I'm going to bonus action, move my spiritual weapon, because after this turn it's going to disappear. Uh, and it's going to target the one five feet from Elks and that's been hit. Okay. Uh, why would it disappear? It lasts for a good while. It lasts for one minute. Yeah, that's ten rounds. Well, I thought we were going to close on 10 rounds after I, my turn was completed. I must have miscounted. No, no, we're on, round, round, we're on round two. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was like a 10 second per character turn. Nope. Six seconds per character turn. Six seconds per round. Mm -hmm. Okay. So spiritual weapon is going to attack. Does a 19? 19 hits. And then... It's going to take three damage. Okay. That's your bonus action. Then, yes. And for my action, I'm going to target that one, pull out my mace, and give it a flack. Go for it. Because why not? That is an 18. That hits. And then I show it also. I have to say this before my attack, um, to clarify, or for a divine strike, or how do no, I? No, that just that? happens every time. Oh, it happens every time I use a melee weapon attack. Yep. Okay, so that's going to be one d six plus one for the mace. The mace gets four damage. And add on an extra four radiant damage. Alrighty. It's badly injured. Does that complete your turn? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, that completes my turn. It is their turn. One will attack you from behind. Okay. 23 and an 8. That's a hit. And a 24. They both hit. All right. For a total of 17 damage. Slashing. Okay. I should be at 56. Next one is going to attack Elkson. It's a 14. That hits. That is six slashing damage. Still a tiger. And then I have one more attack on him. One second. Yeah, they do get multi attack. Twenty three. That only hits. Four slashing. I'm not a tiger anymore. How much damage goes to Elkson? Two. God bless you. And that is exactly what happens as Elkson <laughs> turns back to Elkson. And it's your turn. I fucking hate the swamp. Uh, you hated the. Be worse. We could... You hated the Lich's dungeons. You hate the swamp. <laughs> yeah, we could be back at that research facility. No. 
Um, the arena. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I'm gonna thunder wave. I'm surrounded. Why not? Thunder wave. I'm not familiar with what that does. A uh, wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. Okay, so I have to make a con saving throw. I think, depending on where you're putting it, right? Well, it's just 15-foot cube originating from me, so... Well, let's see this. Where is Thunderwave? Okay. Thunder yeah, right, it's so not like... I imagine Elixir is the center of it because it's pushing out, so it's... So it's a 15-foot cube. Originally, yeah, then yeah, Ares would have to as well. So, what kind of uh, saving throw? Constitution. Oh, my constitution is great. You say as you roll a one. Natural twenty for a total twenty-eight. <laughs> That's All a right. save. On a failed I save. Roll a 17. Okay. Yeah, on a successful, you take half as much damage and isn't pushed. Roll your damage. Yep. I rolled a seventeen. That's a save. The save is fourteen. Save. Ooh. Save. One uh, fails. Eight plus, eight plus three is eleven thunder damage. Kay. Five damage. The yeah, one, think, yeah. the one directly uh, north of you explodes. I need Ares and Alexander to do a Constitution saving throw. Even though he's getting pushed half? away. What's yep. half a five? Damn two. it. Okay. All right, so I take two points of damage from that. I was hoping to avoid that. And then another con save. Yep. Con save is 14 plus 4, 18. You pass. And how much, Ares? Uh, 17. You both take half damage, 8 points of poison damage. Reduced to 4 for me, because I'm immune to everything except psychic. Okay. <clears throat> well, not immune, but resistant. Resistant. Ow! I got burned the other day, and, how, and now how I got much, my lightning today. How much was uh, the um, total damage again? Oh, 11 thunder. Make another constitution saving throw, Hondir and Elksen, uh, as this one gets blown up, too. God damn it. That is going to be a 19. 19 passes. That's a 9 plus 4, 13. 13 passes. You both take 7 poison damage. Ow. I'm getting just eaten up by poison. Why is my team trying to kill me? <laughs> All right, it is Zaxon's uh, turn. Is I don't get to it? bonus action anything. Oh yes, you can bonus action. Go ahead. <laughs> um, does anyone else in the party look hurt at all? Ow! That's all I'm gonna say because you struck me by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was thunder. It was just thunder. It wasn't lightning. <laughs> Calm Still, down. I got struck by an element again. <laughs> the thunder tickles. The poison <laughs> tickles. It all tickles. Meow, you I make will. a Constitution saving throw as well. And go ahead, Elkson. Why? It's your turn, Elkson. Go ahead. What? Um, I'll do the. Bonus action healing spirit and put it between uh, Hondir and myself. Alright, bonus action healing spirit. Does that complete your turn? Yes. It means that each Hondir and I get, uh, what was it? D6. There's your healing spirit. That's a one for me and a three for Hondir. Um, all right. At the end of your turn, Zax, uh, Zaxon pulls out another two arrows, shoots them at the one that's on Miyagi. The second arrow striking true, bursting the zombie, 
You take 12 poison damage, Miyagi, which is already on your character. Alrighty. Ares, it is your turn. Being uh, Elks and turn back into normal form, I'm going to say... Um, how many Divine Twitch Vengeance did we use, Knights Fall, so far? None yet. Okay, because we got three. Yep. Total. Uh, I'm going to take that into account. Okay. Just trying to update you as much as I can. Oh, I do appreciate it. You just don't need it for this fight. If I give it to okay. you for this fight, it's going to be cheapened. Oh, no, I'm just making sure we're keeping track, so. Oh, yeah. Alright, and up to the creature, punch it. Thank you again, see you till the end. Go for it. This one is uninjured. Uh, 13. 13 misses. No, it hits. <laughs> for 12 points of damage. Okay. Second hit. Is gonna hit. For 16 Ooh. points of damage. And then bonus action hit. That's going to hit. Oh, so close. Uh, 11 points of damage. That one gets destroyed. I need you and Elkson make constitution God saving throw. <laughs> There's so much fucking poison. Uh, 14. That Six passes. Four is 10. That fails. Huh. 16 poison damage to Elkson. Ah. Four for me. Four for her Ares. It tickles. <laughs> Meanwhile, Elkson is just coughing up a little bit of blood. Actually, my voice should be a lot more menacing. Tickles. <laughs> <laughs> the one in front of you, Hondir. Hits you with a 17 and then That's a, a miss. 23. That's a hit. Five slashing damage. Uh, for my movement, I would have moved behind the zombie that's behind that's attacking Hondir. Okay. What 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 is your AC, Hondir? 20. Miyagi, it's your turn. And what was it? Okay. I guess we moved on. Never mind. Elgin's blast. Sorry. That definitely hits. Alrighty. That's the first beam. No crit damage. Yep, no crit damage. Second beam. Definitely hits. Does that complete your turn? That does. On deer, you are up. You are surrounded by zombies. So first, bonus action, the spiritual weapon is going to hit the zombie that is close to. Okay, go for it. Uh, do, do, do. That's a nine. Nine misses. Oh, wait, I rolled the wrong dice. I rolled a D8 by accident. Hang on. I still got a nine total. I hate everything. I rolled a three. Uh, then yep, I'm going to take misses. the reaction. I'm going to take the attack of opportunity and move five feet above in fr above the zombie that's behind me. Which way do you go? North, south? Because you have to move actually. North, east. Okay. So you can roll to attack. The 19. That is a miss. Okay. I'm going to target Elkson at third level and cast Cure Wounds. Thank you, Hondir. You get 22 hit points back. Yay! Now, it's not over. All the rounds worth of damage. Now, for our viewers, you can see here... Why do you not have cure? There it is. Let's look at the spell effect. Yes, because Foundry was trying to load and couldn't load the map for me today. All right, how much healing for Elkson? 22. 
Oxen, you're almost full. All right, it is the zombie's turn. What? It's gonna go after Hondir with an eight and an eight. That's a miss. Both misses. Oxen, it is your turn. Okay. Um. Let's see. I will. Eldridge bless the one that looks more hurt. Uh, that'd be the one directly south of Hondir. All right, I blessed it. Natural twenty. Damn. There you go. And then the second beam is fourteen plus seven is twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um. So first beam is doubled. Nine doubled is eighteen. Okay, and it's still up. And then the second one is not doubled. This has been not great. That's two. That's his exact health. On there, ah! do a Constitution saving throw. Yay! And Thanks, Elson. Too. Yep. Dirty twenty. Take four points of poison damage. Does that complete your turn? Yes? No? I'm... Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, Zaxxon deletes this thing. For the first attack, it does 25 points of damage. And the second attack was a natural 20. Ares make like, a, I want to go home. Ares make constitution saving throw. 23. Take three poison damage. That's already halved. Got it. And is combat. It halved and then halved again? Yes. Okay. Combat is over. Great. We've had, I've had things explode on me, and my teammates attack me. I look, at Zaxon, I look at Zaxon, who stole my kill, and then I punch the dead lizard in front of me, the dead zombie in front of me again, just to prove a point. Move quicker. Um, Stone on. man. And I'm just going to take the, the <laughs> remaining charges of my healing spirit. I'm going to run up and... Smart cat run away from friends. They take okay. your hits. He's a long range fighter. Leave him be. Posture check. Mm. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Aquatar. Thank you, Jesse. Oh god, I have such bad posture. This is painful. <laughs> What is Miyagi running up to do? Oh, so Miyagi's gonna run up and be like, is everyone okay? And then, like, tap, put his hand on Hondir and use one of his uh, healing lights, and Hondir gets six hit points back. We've been attacked by zombies, and we also, and I also took thunder damage. It at least um, you didn't take fire damage. I was trying to get them away from us. I was getting covered in disgusting gunk that hurt, okay? Hold on. Um, I'm worried that the zombies are going to regenerate, so any zombies that are like corpses that are, are within five feet of me, I'm going to use Word of Radiance. Just okay. because. Alrighty. Uh, Zaxxon will walk up to Ares. Cow man cries a lot. I'm, I'm still raging, so I'm gonna break. Cow goes. Are you two done? You see what I say? The Goliath's brain does not make 
good stew. Not enough ingredients. I'm sure at this point my rage wears off. Yep, your rage wears off. <laughs> and at this point, we're going to take a quick, quick, quick five minute break. If that is going to get a kid to bed, and then we can come back here and you guys can determine what you're going to do. Stay okay. tuned. We'll be right back.
And we are back. So, you guys have completed combat. Before you lays this half, well, mostly sunken temple. Zaxxon will point out to a tree that's right near the entrance. That's where your roots is. Mm. All right. Is there like an uh, like a reasonable way to get to it? Because you say it's sunken. Like, well, again, it, it's sunken. It's sunken into the mud. Um, okay. There's water all over the place, but you, it, it's swamp. It's like ankle deep, ankle to shin deep, depending on how okay. tall you are. I'll head. I'll start heading over to the tree that he pointed out. Okay. Hold uh, it. I just switched it to Miyagi. Maybe now is a good time for our invisible friend to be of use. Oh, yeah, that seems like a good idea. He could do all the work for us, right, Exit? And uh, we can trust him to harvest it? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait a minute, Exit. Wait a minute. And I'm going to pull Exit away from the group. Like, is he on my shoulder or is mm -hmm. he like just blind? If He's on the shoulder. Do, if you do this successfully, I will reward you. Okay. Think you can do it? You, you can't see him because he's invisible, mm -hmm. but you can just imagine the raised eyebrow. It's getting a fucking root. I can do it. Okay, I'm trusting you. And once we're all, like, all right, Miyagi will join back. Be like, okay, spit, go in there, grab it. You hear a chuckle as he flies off. I'd rather not traverse these and run into more of those things. El Elson is just keeping her arms crossed and staring at the, the tree, waiting to see some root or something happen. Oh, you see x because he drops his invisibility hmm. and starts You see him burn a bit of the tree. That's not... No comments from the peanut gallery back there! I trusted him. I take full responsibility. Besides, he... <laughs> Intelligent. Stop burning the tree! You don't burn the gardens at a freaking temple. Like I give a shit. Oxen. What even is this temple? Uh, roll a religion check for me. Hey, what do you know? I'm proficient in religion. I would hope so. <laughs> what would Natural you? 20, which brings the total to 25. Natural 20 to 25. I have a plus 5 in religion. You, you remember... Something about an old elven deity of the dance. And you see a symbol of a crescent moon on there. Um, however, you the name still escapes you because this deity is lost to time. Hmm. What, what was Miyagi about to say? Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to say like, that. Alexon was getting all mad, and you went, Alexon, and then... Oh, oh, yes. Um, Sorry, I got a little flabbergasted. Um, Let's let our little guy, our big, strong champion of the hells, do his job. He's burning a tree that could be sacred for all we know. I'm going to ask, uh, Sexton, how long have you been here exactly? I have lived here my entire life. I'm assuming no one ever told you the story about some sort of elfin deity, did they? No. Elves do not talk long. They do not last long. Too stringy. Well... That probably that temple over there is dedicated to this deity of the dance. Make a perception oh, no, check. Name, Me? Yep. Okay. 
If he burns the tree one 22? more time, I'm doing it myself. Natural 20 again? You can tell that the bow that Zaxxon is uh, using is definitely of elven make. So that bow of yours, that's also elvish, you know. My god, it is one at the, for one at the forge. Hmm. I will not question how you found it. No. But that does prove that your logic holds true, that elves don't laugh here. Still, I'm guessing that's who used to be in this area. Worshippers of that deity. And by the looks of what we just fought, I have to assume those were the guardians of this place. This place has been here long, long ago. The name of the deity has been lost to time. So, That's I'm going over there. <laughs> As X spits flying back with two pieces of root. Slightly singed. Nice. I hope it'll just snatch it from him. Was the fire absolutely necessary for water base three? Absolutely, I had to dry it out. No, it was not. Oakson? You weren't there. Oxen, I told him to hmm? do whatever he felt necessary. Bunch of judging McJudgsons. He did what I said, so if anything, blame me. Not. Jadisa put out the tree. It's still on fire. <laughs> be cool, Aries. Be cool. How far away is the tree? A uh, good 40 feet. I'm going to walk up. Uh, hang on. I'm going to walk up 10 feet. I'm going to take out a drop. Because, like, there's is there any water that we're standing in? Oh, yeah. Or... I'm gonna cast uh, Create uh, Destroy Water and put the tree out with the water around the tree. And if it didn't get all of it, I would use Druid Craft because one of the things is I can sniff out a small fight. Okay, easily done. That's a first. That's a first level spell slot used so, for uh, Create Destroy Water. And so, boss, um, do we want to check the inside of this temple? They could have cool shit. No. Uh, we I do not. Person. How many of these uh, potato plants do we need to weaken the dragon? Is this All he told right? us was to, was to ground it up. Do any of us even know how to do that properly? Well, the question mean, is, will two, will two potato plants ground up me enough to stop the dragon? He didn't tell us how much. Or right. asking a little person. I've never heard of a dragon being affected by that. I've never heard of dragons before I saw this one. Wait. So when did you see this dragon? Less than helpful. Recently, it arrived in the swamp. Like, at least two weeks recently? Yes. I see. That's when the sickness started in town. Can I do like a medicine check or something to grind these up into like a medicinal powder? It will. It, no roll necessary. You can just grind it up. It it's not going to be. It just takes some time. Mm -hmm. Okay. But boss, we can find some cool shit in there that nobody's using it now. No. We don't have time. That girl who knows how much time she's got left. Okay. And we are not defilers like Mia. I mean, the place pretty looks pretty much defiled already. I mean, I took Look, a shit right over there, too. Not Did you really? <laughs> how dare you? I had to take a shit. I just face palm. So, the real question is, how do we get the dragon to eat this? <sighs> Sex in. You wouldn't want to help us kill this dragon, would you? Yes. <laughs> that is why I am here. You could be Zaxxon the dragon killer. He's saying yes, so help us. Because what if we put this powder on one of your arrows and you shoot it in the dragon's mouth? 
I would like to keep a small patch of it on my person. What? That could work. You could also ask for servitude from the dragon and offer it food. Well, I look at... Can any of us talk to this dragon even? I could. I could. I've actually talked to one before. So it could be quite easy. What if we try that with the little portion that Elkson wants to have and just have someone his arrow as a backup? And then we just hide and wait and see what happens. Do you know, do I still have those scrolls? What scrolls? Uh, I don't know. I collected. I have to pull up this list. This is a while ago, but it's been a day. So the charge on the wand of identify reset. I obtained three scrolls and two books. Uh, there was a spell book and then an anvil and hammer. And the yeah, I have the Amber and Hammer book. Yeah. Uh, apparently there was three scrolls. Yeah, you spilled them out, and then you didn't really want to identify those scrolls because you used your wand. Yeah. Can I identify well, them? Sure. You have a scroll of mage armor. A scroll of magic missile. And a scroll of identify. <laughs> I wrote them down. I, I, I identify the identify spell and then use that identify spell to find another identify spell. Genius! I'm writing this stuff down, so. Let's just make our way towards where this dragon is supposed to be. Hmm. I know where it's at. So what is the plan? Elkson. I'm going to keep a patch on me, and I'm going to give you some to put on your arrows. And I'll hand him half of uh, what I was able to grind up. Okay. Now, we also know that this thing is weak to acid, so... I assume you guys have spells path related. Yes. Uh, Absolutely. I have acid splash. Whatever we can works. I think it. the plan is we're going to go find this dragon and see if we can offer to feed it with something. We need some kind something to put the powder on so the dragon can eat it. And something tells me rotting flesh isn't exactly a good idea. Do dragons even eat the snake meat? Dragons oh. eat whatever flesh is there. Rotting so is actually eat. good for the this dragon. So rotting like the zombie flesh then we could use. Possibly. Hmm. Because I'm thinking, if you remember where you shot that snake, we can go back for that snake and use that. I never forget. Uh, what is everybody's hit points at right now? 73. Mine is 40, I think. 44. Are you guys taking a short rest? I, don't, I mean, I wasn't planning on it, are we? Well, should we rest here or should we rest back at like a safer location, just be on the safe side first? I don't want to rest in the temple because I don't trust Ixbit near it. The deity's been lost to time. If Mordine wheels at the spirits who used to guard this place, we'll find their way. What y'all doing? I think the plan. 
let's find a safe pl place to rest and then get prepared as best we can and go over a, a plan one more time. So I'll make, I'll make a small little prayer to Melora as they leave the temple. When you're, you're saying this prayer, it, it's like you got caught in mouth. It doesn't feel right. And you're about to you think on it, and then your pseudo dragon kind of just nuzzles you. So Alex and we'll just kind of sigh and then trot along with Hot Deer and everyone. Do you want to rest for the day or just a short while? I mean, just a short while, I think, is all we would need. Then I that suggest with everyone else? we rest right here. Hmm. These undead, these dead things, they have not come back. And they have kept away other predators. Well... Let's get a short rest, okay? Yep, you guys can take a short rest. Use your hit dice to heal up. I'm going to use three out of ten of my hit dice. Okay. Let me know if you all get full or if you do not, if you are not full. Yeah, sure. I'll use three of mine. Get myself back up to full. I recover 16, so I am at 60 out of 73. Okay. Didn't exactly roll that great for my hit dice. I've got to. You got can keep on three. going. Oh, yeah, I got, I'll use two more because I got 10. I'm just saying, if you're about to go fight a dragon. <laughs> and you've already used spell slots, and you've already... I, only, I used two spell slots. And you used your ice knife. That's gone now. You know that, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. Oh, are these basic level spells? Yes. Uh, level ones? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, had, I have a level three and two level ones. I am back at full health. Okay. Alexin, where are you at? I'm back at full. Alrighty. Miyagi? Uh, I'm working on it right now. Aries? I'm back at full. Let's just expend them. Fuck it, I won't be back at full. Alright. Dragon lives in cave. I'm, I'm back at full. Alrighty. It has much acid in it. From what we heard, it made itself more powerful, but it made itself weaker to its acid. I cannot confirm that. But still, how did it? Is it weak when it breathes acid? Like, is it weaker when it breathes acid? I am not quite sure about that. The monster didn't tell us that part. But if it does open its mouth when it does that, that does give you a chance to fire that arrow. Who told you that? There was a monster hunter in a nearby hut. <laughs> I do not know. I am not familiar with dragons. Well, whatever the case, they are still dangerous from what we believe. And considering how recent it is, it is hard to say how actually big this thing is. 
roll some kind of check for dragon knowledge, being that I'm a dragonborn? Nope. Damn. Can I roll some sort of people knowledge, considering I'm a human? Nope. <laughs> well, that's usually just considered a history check. Yeah, but you're 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 from mountain folk. My specific group worshipped a white dragon, so it's fine. Continue on. This cave it has many broken pieces of rock, but it sits on top of acid. You should watch your step. I don't cast water walk again. And or if that would even work walking over acid. Nope. Well, we can, like we said, we can probably find a place to hide while uh, whoever wants to do their part to try to do servitude to the dragon does their thing. I will go find a better carcass. That would be appreciated. I personally think me and Oxen should do it. Why, why both of us? We can both speak Draconic. We both have dragons. Could work. I'm concerned it may want to eat our dragon, little dragons. Considering they're not of his nature. That may be the case, actually. Do you think it's better for one of you to go? Maybe one with one dragon only? Oh, that's me! I, what? I I, do I, that. I've no, had good, that... I've had, listen, I've had good things with dragons. I literally spoke to a Ugh. god dragon. I can do it. Yes, but... Let... Go ahead, Elkson. <laughs> You're also the one who gets hurt the most often. And gets us into trouble the most often. Well, I can always use an insurance policy. What insurance policy? There is one spell that I have not used in a long time. It can save Miyagi from death, but only once. Or, if you wish to go speak to the dragon yourself, I can give you that insurance policy. Well, of course I would prefer to be the one to go speak to it. <laughs> I think the real question is... Who do you think can handle talking to this dragon easier? On the one hand, we have the dragonborn. Natural draconic bloodline. But at the same time, he might be concerned with the two dragons you have. And more so be worried about them. Listen, on the other hand, I think while I you do while you can speak draconic, you are kind of frail, but at the same time you have less to target about you. I can also make myself resistant to acid. Well so can I. Resistance or not. Elkson can take more hits than you, Miyagi. If I got so, into trouble, I could just wild shape. And we won't be that far either. Time. But, regardless of who wants to go, I think you should still take the insurance policy I have planned. I can't lose anyone again. I left you guys for God knows how long, and now we just came back together. Sure, I've been <laughs> hit by fire and thunder, but... I don't want to lose anyone. Ares, what Ares. do you think? Yes, Ares. You're gold. I will defend whoever decides to go out there. Your priority, you said, was to protect Cat Friend, right? That was Prime Directive, yes. Then Elkson should do it. If Meowgi does it and things start to go haywire, Ares is just going to run headfirst in. I can't give Ares that protection. So... One fair, person Ares having it. 
need protection. Ares you know what is I mean. Stoppable tank. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was my DM you know showing? I mean. You know what I mean, Ares. It might be easier if Elkson doesn't. Besides, well, Miyagi's been bit a few times, I've actually been swallowed, so. You also jumped into a cube, if I recall. I made myself resistant first, okay? So I have experience dealing with this. Should things go bad. Miyagi, I get you want to be... I trusted you as a leader. And you care for Elkson. But it is safer if Elkson does this. You know this, too. Elkson has a mission... I have a god after me? That's... no. It's an elder evil. It's not a god. It's just... That's why there were quotation marks. But we can... An elder evil that you said you want to face at some point, right? What's the point of making a goal to confront this person if you're not going to be there for it? Fine. Ruin my tale of being a hero. Saving the day. Being, being a hero is not about taking lives, your own life, and being always there. Yeah, okay. Being a hero means taking care of others. Helping people who need it. Elkson's trying to help you out, too. We're and trying Elkson. to help this entire town. Alexin is going to go over and just kind of like put her uh, hand on Miyagi's face. You are my hero. I'm trusting you to have my back and be able to save me if I need you. It's at that moment that there's a large dead carcass of a wild boar gets dumped right in front of both of you. This is better tribute. Thank you. Elkson, prepare the boar. Yep. I'll do exactly that. <laughs> I'm going right. to use I half gonna... of the powder that I have. How long is it going to take for us to reach this cave? This not far. An hour. I go to Elkson. I touch her shoulder. And at fourth <laughs> level, cast Death Ward. Nice. This is for your protection. Remember that. Thank you. F follow me. Zaxon starts leading you through. Again. Aries. Help Elkson carry that boar. Till we get there. When we get close, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability on myself and do Bear's Endurance. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Okay. I have been in here once before. There is a steep decline. It is best to just slide down. But climbing back up would be quite difficult and impossible in combat. Okay. I'm sorry, out of character, describe this scene again. Like, we're going into a cave? You're going into a cave, and Zaxxon is des describing the cave before you get there. That as soon as you enter, there mm. is a steep decline of loose dirt and gravel. That it is best just to slide down, and climbing it would be quite difficult and impossible in combat. Meaning it's one of those video game zones where when you go in, you can't get out until you finish the battle. <laughs> yeah, awesome pretty room. much. Alrighty. Awesome My only concern is making sure you can hold on to that boar. I'll be fine. Alright. We ready? So, to show a bit of the map,
for those of you who have to watch on stream. This is where you're entering from. I want to know where you guys are placing yourselves. I am going to go up close to the big acid pool. Okay, so like up here, or I'm sorry, that's Hundir. Like up here? Yeah. All right. Aries, where are you going? Where's the dragon? You don't see the dragon yet. Oh. Uh, then I'll stay 20 feet behind Elkson. That's about right here. Hondir? Uh, I shall go an extra 10 feet behind Aries. Okay. Miyagi? I will probably be next to uh, Hondir. Traversing this is difficult. You have to jump over each crack. Out of combat, not a problem. In combat, will require rolls. Okay. As you enter the cave, and you slide down, broken stone is all around you. You can see the green liquid below you can smell how just caustic and acidic the very air is around here Elkson you approach near the end of where there's this massive pool what do you do I'm going to place the boar down on the ledge and just kind of kneel in front of it <laughs> It is rare that I have my meal delivered. It is rare that someone will get the chance to possibly be a servant to someone as powerful as you. What makes you so unique and wanting? I need to get stronger, and I am willing to do anything to do so. Mm. You smell of demon. Like I said, anything. What have you brought me? I have brought you a large boar. And she will, slowly. By the time you get back to Ares, you see this massive draconic creature out from above. And the ceilings in here are quite high. You can't even tell how high they are. It slithers down. Its eyes are sharp and cunning. The scales are black like obsidian. Nostrils flared as it takes in your scent. The teeth are hooked and wicked. They flash as the maw get, uh, opens up. Saliva drips, caustic, green, and hissing. And fear grips each of you in your belly. And what you notice as it sets down its left front left paw or leg, and then it's back to is that it's missing a right leg. Got the beat us. And it takes a bite of the boar. <laughs> now this is some fucking monster hunter from earlier. <laughs> you and roll initiative 
Well, that didn't work, clearly. Hundir with an 18. 22. <laughs> Not great. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Six. All right. Uh, we just Aries? made this fucker stronger. Aries, what do you got? Uh, 15. And Alexin, you got a six? Yep. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy the uh, animation. And let's start. Miyagi, you are up first. Okay. I am going to... Oh, yes, you are up first at 22. Yes, I am. I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> okay, so, uh, that didn't fucking work. Um, he hasn't All right. made any aggressive movements, has he? He has not. Just hold it. <laughs> I'm going to hold a guiding bolt for the first sign of attack. Telepathically okay. tell Ixbit to blind him the moment he attacks. Okay. Um, let's see. It is on 21 Zaxxon's turn. He's not holding his attack. He's attacking the God dragon. Damn God damn it, Zaxxon. For the blooded claw. And misses. Ah. And hits. For, oh, for 21 damage. Nice. Then on initiative 20, the layer goes. You see... The acid from you all, as you're looking at the screen to your left, rises yeah. up and surges outward towards you. I need everybody there to roll a strength saving throw. No. I'm giving myself a 19. Okay, what does that give you? Strength saving throw that gives me a nineteen. <laughs> okay. Uh Aries? Twenty seven. Alexon? Uh twelve. Hundir. Fifteen. Okay. Everyone passes except for Alexon. Alexon. You are pulled twenty feet into the pool of acid. And in prone. I need you. Just that didn't work. <laughs> I need to roll some damage for you. Now, Let's see. Did, did the dragon do that, or was that just a layer effect? Uh, Miyagi doesn't know. The player, it's a layer effect. Okay. Holy crap. I rolled good. Uh, do you have resistance to acid damage right now, Oxen? No. But I am going to. 30 points of acid damage. Elements. 30 points of acid damage. Okay. So that's what? 15 because of absorb elements? Yep. Okay. But you are still in the pool of acid. But. I I did have four temporary hit points from my bear's endurance earlier. So. Okay. So you're at 83. Um, but you are still in the pool of acid and have to climb out. 16, Hondir. So I would have to... 
get towards Elkson by jumping over how many cracks? Um, she is 10 feet down below now. Um, you would have to move, give yourself 15 feet of movement, and then you can be above her and then maybe aid her as she climbs up on her turn. I can do that as an action, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. So, as a bonus action, we're going to do spiritual weapon at level four, and it's going to target the dragon. Really? Are you sure? Thanks to level four, it has a range of 60 feet. Well, let's see how far away you are. Nope, you're only 25 feet away, so you're fine. Yeah, because if I cast it at like an earlier uh, spell slot, it probably would not have reached. So fourth level plus extra damage is always nice. Alrighty. Roll your attack. So, it is going, so it's going to make an attack, and I'm probably going to miss 24. 24 hits. And then it takes 2d8 plus 2. Total of 14 damage. Okay. And I just, as an action, just try to extend my hand out to try to help Elkson. I will say that you can pull Elkson up. Give me a strength check. Or athletics. Athletics? Mm-hmm. Please don't get a nat one and drop 15? me back in the acid. <laughs> All right. You are out of the acid. Yay. I got you, my child. It is now the dragon's turn. Uh. And it will position itself there and sh use... Well, first off, it's going to use its frightful presence... I need everyone to do a wisdom saving throw. Hooray! A saving throw I have proficient in, but I'm going to roll horrible. Natural 20 for a 26. Hey. You are not Anyone? frightened. 18 plus 6 is 24. You hey. are not I even showed my proof. I think. All right. You did. Aries? 16. 16 is the DC. Miyagi? 11. 11. You are frightened. Um. And then it is going to use its acid breath. Oh, yay. Does my garden bolt go off? Yes, you can do your guiding bolt. Alright. Sixteen to hit? Misses. Fuck. Okay, so this is a sixty foot line. This will hit Ares and Miyagi. I need a dexterity saving throw. that was okay fucking terrible i mean we still have three divine twitch pensions if we haven't wished to use them 15 i will say you can use one of them as a save for both of you because 15 fails okay. so you both get a success so you take half damage so you take a total of 25 damage. I'm going to use Let my stone endurance reaction uh, to minimize that damage. Okay. Let me go ahead and mark those off in the reward queue real quick. Yes, please. Uh, posture check we did. And we used two divine twitch pensions. 
I will say you use one divine Boom. twitch mentioned. That's okay. reduced. The damage is reduced by eight. By eight. All right. So how much did I take? Uh, twenty-five, and then minus eight, so it's gonna be seventeen. Okay. And then Miyagi takes half. I'm also just going to complete all the other rewards that we were not able to do. All right. Aries, it is your turn. All right. So bonus action, I'm going to rage. <clears throat> what size is this dragon? Oh, it is quite large. Beyond What's large. That? All right. So is it, it's, is it large or is it huge? It's beyond. It's more than huge, actually. Gargantuan? No, no, no. It would be huge. Yeah. Huge. Okay. So I am going to run up to it, and I'm going to leap and try to climb on top of it. Alrighty. Give me an athletics check. You got it. At advantage, you're raging. Yes. Good, because that was in that one. So let's try that again. It's going to be a 28. 28 makes it. You are climbing on top. Awesome, and that should be it for my go. All right. Alexon, it is your turn. Okay. Um, I did absorb elements, so it's going to take some acid damage this time. Uh, okay. Um, now, is that gonna, then, does, that, does that get added to your next attack? Yep. Okay, so what's your attack? Uh, it's going to be Witch Bolt at third level. Okay, roll to hit. Come on. That is 19 plus 7, 26. That hits. Don't bother uh, don't bother with the acid damage. Okay. Uh I figured as much. That's nine. is twenty. Plus six is twenty-six lightning damage. Okay. And then uh, Okay, and yeah, it's just connected to it. <laughs> There's now a bolt of lightning between me and this thing. Yep, and let me show what our viewers what it would be like. Come on. Okay, well, it's not working now, so... Oh, well. <laughs> Miyagi, it is your turn. Okay. So... I'm probably going to move... It is difficult terrain in here. Okay. Oh, and Xbit, you want Xbit to go up? Yeah. And try and blind it. All right. And so I'm going to use my double movement and move just 30 feet. Xpit hits. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Xpit. Finally being stinger. useful. With his stinger, too. I have to do a constitution saving throw. Right. I pass. That's fine. I takes six do... piercing damage from the fucking imp. What the hell? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a first level magic missile. 18 to hit? That's a guiding bolt. Oh, yeah, guiding bolt. That's what I meant. Sorry. 18 misses. Fuck. Yep, fuck. That's, that's all I can do. Fuck me, right? <laughs> Is that, oh, you can roll a uh, wisdom saving throw at the end of your turn. Yep. Wisdom saving throw. Fuck me, right? Fuck me running. Zaxon goes. He is going to attempt. He loses his arrow of dragon slaying. Misses. He's gonna do another 
and misses with his second and final arrow of dragon slaying. So glad we brought him. Well, he is feared right now, which means I do have to do disadvantage. Yeah. And he rolled a okay. two on his saving throughout the end of his turn. Hundir, it is your... Actually, no, it is not your turn. It is the layer's turn. Yeah. Correct. Okay. We are going to do this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And fill color is <laughs> All right. Those of you in that circle, you are in complete darkness. That would be Elksen and Hondir. Mm. Is that a spell effect? It is layer action. Okay. That's fine. My witch bolt is still up. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta wanna actually do this correctly. Okay. There you go. There's your darkness. Um, that is at twenty. Hundir, you're next. You don't see anything. It is complete blackness. And it is not a fog, correct? It is not a fog. So I cannot see my spiritual weapon. So I cannot attack, right? You can't see it. It has to be something that you can see. And you know that there's acid all around you. Mm. Now, I can't... Now, I don't believe my summoning guardians actually give off any sort of light. They do give off some light, but not enough to... Uh, that would cancel... It, their purpose isn't to cancel magical darkness. Okay. I'm just seeing if I have anything because I got a lot of stuff. Yes, this is the monster hunter. I'm surprised nobody asked to roll an insight check on him. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I thought about it. I did not put two and two together until you just told me. I just assumed it was a diabetic dragon. Hmm. <laughs> the monster hunter was missing, missing its right arm. The dragon yep. is missing a right arm. No. When, when as soon as Zaxum didn't know who the hell we were talking about, I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, he, he thought that you talked to... Uh, he doesn't know. And I can't see in dark... Apparently I do have dark vision. I yes. didn't think I did. But, but you're in magical work. darkness, yes. Yes, I cannot see it. There is one thing I could do, but I don't know if it's worth it right now. What you can do? So, I don't think this is gonna work, but the only thing I can do, since I don't have anything to counter this, is divine intervention, man. 
You As an extra, roll replace it. your day, your deity's aid, and roll percentile die, which I assume is a D one hundred. Correct. Correct, and you have to roll a ten or below. Yes. A 100-sided die. So I will use that as my action and mark it off on, my, on D&D Beyond for you. Because this is all I can do. Oh, yes! I rolled a two. Divine Intervention. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I've never seen that work. Okay. What the shit? This is perfect. And on that no. note, that's where we're going to end no. for tonight. No! <laughs> we got to wait two weeks for Morgan to appear, folks. Stay tuned! Simply because this is going to take much longer than the half hour that we have left. <laughs> for this combat. I didn't think that would work! And I have I... an idea of... Oh, I have a great idea. And we should but I have to build it. Before you forget. <laughs> oh no, I, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing now. Okay, so thank, thank you for the well played, uh, Aqua. I somehow got really <laughs> lucky. <laughs> At least I showed you proof I rolled. <laughs> so we will come back not next Monday, but the following Monday for the conclusion of this battle. April 18th. April 18th. Thank you for everybody who Why? showed up. Thank you for everybody who. Uh, oh, and by the way, I was going to give you a reroll on that for your divine twitch invention. But oh. didn't need it. Didn't need it. I, I I why why is it that when I shit talk about me rolling terribly, the opposite? <laughs> so it, I rolled man, like, like this is awesome. I rolled three. I rolled three nat twenties and got divine intervention off. That's, wow. Very, very cool. Moradin was smiling upon you this episode. Just, I'm just happy I, I'm able to show you guys proof so you can believe me. Because <laughs> my D&D <laughs> Beyond dice are working, so I had to use a virtual dice. So we are going to raid another uh, tabletop RPG channel here real quick. Uh, they do rather well, uh, rather good games, and I believe they actually do cosplay and all that, so... Thank you, everybody, and please join us next time. Bye-bye. We're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're about to raid here <laughs> shortly, because it takes a little bit of time. <laughs> and we can just uh, mark off those two Divine Twitch mentions for later, too. So, yep. yay. Yeah. And there we go. All right, we have raided. Huzzah. Yep, we have raided. And they only had six viewers. We had nine. Nice. It's Come a on, vampire. Holy shit! <laughs> I love um, that. I love that so kids? much. Han Deere oh, has had man. doubts in his Fuck. faith. And then more than like, years ago. Years ago. <laughs> it's like the only Based thing on I could have done. And I'm just like, what's the worst that can happen? I can't use it again to a long rest. Is there something about that does sound familiar? And then Lindsay, it hits you. Oh, interesting things are happening. Cyrus like, we got uh, so Crisis of Faith is now getting <laughs> divine intervention. The, the one with the succubus pre patron can't pray to her deity now, it seems like. And has angel wings. Because it's a spiritual wings. <laughs> Whenever I do that one thing. Thank you. Fucking thank you. Sure, have a good night. Now he didn't die. No, but I'm fucking hurt. <laughs> you hurt, but you didn't die. Uh, I know exactly uh, how the divine intervention is going to work. So I have a.